this is a guitar that's for sale. This uh, has been in a couple of videos uh, already. I compared it to this CS Bluegrass 16, which is another large sound hole guitar. Um, I did a video where I evaluated it, talked about it a little bit. This is a HD 28 LSV, large sound hole vintage neck. And there's not a lot of these made. I can't remember how many, but I will put a scroll down screen right here if I could remember with how many of them there are. A couple of unique things about this one. It's red spruce top and they only made, again, so many of those before they went to Sitka top. Not only is it a red spruce top, but it is the fabled Smokies top, which is a top that comes from a bunch of trees that were uh, salvaged. Salvaged is a good word by John Arnold and Ted Davis. Um, evidently, from what I can recall, hurricane came through and blew a couple of trees across the road. So um, John and Ted got permission to get in there and harvest those logs for guitar tops. And um, they got about a thousand tops, if I can remember correctly. They're not extremely common. So this is a fairly rare guitar. LSV, they don't make them anymore. It's got the Smokey's top on it. This one's got a few modifications to it, which I think make them better. But of course, that's my opinion, man. And um, what I did on this one was take the popsicle brace out. It's got the L-shaped block underneath the... Um, neck right here, truss rod cover block. I left that in there because I think that adds, you know, pretty good support. Not the best support in the world, but it's all right. So I left that in there, but the popsicle brace is gone. The two rear back braces have been shaved down to like pre-94 specifications, more or less. That gives the back <clears throat> a more varied flavor, so a more varied tone. Uh, I demonstrated this. I have a whole video on shaving the back braces, but you get this kind of tone. You get that deeper tone right there that you don't get when it's got the tall back braces. Causes no issues whatsoever. The HD series uh, bracing, the bracing on the HD series starts with a scallop that goes about an inch and a half out before it starts a scallop and then it does a scallop. Uh, I don't like that because it I just don't like it. It creates a stress riser right here. I finished the scallop. I've got a video on that too called finishing the scallop. And what I do is go in there and scallop it in there to make the braces arch gently the whole way across. More like a GE or an authentic series would be. Um, those two guitars are just a little bit different from each other, but that's what I aim for is start the scallop there at the same place. Had a really super, super, super low action when it came in. I put a new bone saddle in it. I was going to convert this to a true vintage saddle, but this saddle slot does not have the little shoulders on it that these long drop ends typically have. And so I ended up not doing that because you the ends would show right here because this is so long. So, you know, it's good. This saddle is sitting on there, it's glued in, it's a new bone saddle. The action is 93 thousandths of an inch. It's got antique acoustic red dot bridge pins on it and antique acoustic end pin on it to match. It's got a one and three quarter inch neck. You can look up all the specs for yourself. If you're looking at one of these, you probably know the spec. One and three quarter inch neck. It's a pretty chunky neck, um, not for the faint hearted. Um, and this is comfortable though. Some of these LSVs have a really thick right up in here. This one's not. It's fairly slim. It's got a wonderful taper to it it's a really comfortable neck if you've ever played like a d18 uh, ge it's very similar to that it is, the marquee 28 will have a little bit of a fatter feel up here and this doesn't have that it's it's nice so it's very similar to a ge 18 white binding binding always makes it feel just a little bit wider right here but it's a comfortable neck the bridge spacing i'm sure is two and five sixteen one yeah two and 5 sixteenths of an inch, which is super comfortable. Um, this one's got a Holter pick guard on it, instead of the, in my humble opinion, ugly Dalmatian pick guard. Uh, the Holter pick guard is just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's get really, 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 really picky about 
cosmetics. I'm not that concerned with cosmetics. My gosh, you play the guitar and you're going to get some dents in it. It's got one little very tiny little ding right up here, one little tiny ding right there. It's got a very, very faint buff mark right around in here. I had just a, um, oh gosh, what I call it? It wasn't even heat sinking. It was a, a scuff, scuff mark from when I took the popsicle brace out. I used heat to take this one out. And uh, I have really mixed feelings about heat because it's a little bit dangerous, but I was trying it on this one and I got some scuff marks. I buffed those out, sanded them out. It looks really good. If you hold it in the light just right, like I can't even see it right there. I can't see it. But if you get it under the fluorescent lights that are really brutally bright, you might be able to see a tiny bit. I can't see it. I did in the shop. Very, very faint difference up in here. I uh, buffed that out. It is so ridiculously faint. There's no cracks. The belly is beautiful. Uh, let's see on the sides. <laughs> you know, you're going to be really hard pressed to find anything that you're not going to scratch in about five minutes playing this guitar. The binding is on nice and tight, which is not what you, you can't say that about modern, newer Martins. I can feel the edge here just a little bit. So 2011, I think this guitar is. Serial number 621, you know? Something like that. Serial number 621, you can go look it up. So for the age of this guitar, it's in terrific condition, you know? Like, again, I can feel just a little bit of the binding edge right there. No cracks, there's no loose binding. Oh, uh, let's see. One very, very, very small ding up here on the headstock. Super small. I wouldn't worry about it. It's in great shape, you know. I've got guitars that aren't in this good of a shape. Okay, let's see what else. Tuners are Clusons. The owner and I talked about replacing them with Waverly's, but these Clusons um, cut into the headstock, and they're going to leave a footprint. If you take them off, you're going to see that footprint around the Waverly base. So you could replace them with Waverly's if you want. But honestly, I like Clusons. Uh, I used to use Clusons before Waverly's and uh, Grover 18 to 1's got more available. Uh, I got no problems with these. If you ever have a problem with them getting loose or anything, just replace them because they're, they're pretty cheap. Uh, you can get these tunes for about 40 bucks a set, from 40, 45 bucks a set from Stu Mac and any other places. Just replace the tuners every once in a while. I had these on my 1992 Collings Clarence White. That was an absolute top of the line Brazilian Adirondack Collings. Um, that was, in my humble opinion, the epitome of a dreadnought at that time. And it had these Clusons on it. And I later Collings switched away with these, but you know, a very, very high end guitar had these tuners on. I like these tuners. I'd much rather have these than Grover Rotomatic. The light, I, I didn't see any play, any reason to replace those tuners whatsoever. So I kind of talked them out of it. All right, I uh, the reason to sell this guitar, the owner's retiring, liquidating some of his guitars. This is the one he's going to sell because he's got the CS uh, Bluegrass 16 over there, which is even more of a rare guitar, um, and it has Guatemala and rosewood and you know just some things like that. And so this is one of the ones that regretfully, you know, went on the block. It's a great guitar. I've got a video of comparing it to that CS. Bluegrass 16. And so the guitar is here in my hands uh, because I did the work on it. Then he decided to sell it. And I said, well, you know, I'll do a video. We'll put it up here and uh, maybe we can just sell it from here and not have to ship it back to you and ship it out again. And ship it and ship it, ship it, ship it, ship it. So if you're interested in it, you should email me. I'll pop my email up on a um, little flag right here. And feel free to contact me. I will put you in contact with the owner. And then you two guys deal with that. I don't even know what the price is, so I'm going to put you in contact with him, okay? So, let's just play this thing a little bit so you can hear what it sounds. I already played a little bit, but whatever. Action again is 93,000 symphonies. It has an extremely tall saddle. I'm not sure I'd call that extremely tall, but it's definitely tall. Um, I think it's 160, 160 out of the bridge right now. You are not going to be able to raise the action a whole lot higher. 
So, because I think the saddle would just get too tall. It's already got a pretty, pretty steep brake angle over here, and you're gonna have to like this saddle. But on the on the upper hand, it's probably never gonna need an extra set. Uh, you have so much saddle to work with here. I've been pretty critical of more newer Martins where I say, yeah, I look at them, oh, it needs an Equiset, needs an Equiset. Nope, not this one. Um, this is actually kind of the opposite. You know, you're not going to be able to raise the action much more. The neck relief is very flat right now. Yeah, that's the way it ought to be. So, plays great. Plays really beautiful. I'm just going to sit around here and play a bunch of little tunes and stuff. So you can see me playing it in different positions on the on the neck and that sort of thing. So y'all have all heard me play before, so I was up to about four in the morning. Brain's not keeping up. <laughs> Plays great in the mid range, though, you know. The mistakes are all mine. My fingers are just slow. Mm. Like I said, I uh, got to sleep about 4 o'clock in the morning. I've had three hours of sleep today.
It's the 28. It's a great guitar. I really like these. Uh, these are good, you know. Plays terrific. It's just me that's tired, you know. So, anyway, give me a shout if you're interested in it. <laughs>